The Miracle Worker takes place in the 1880s, and it's the story of Helen Keller as a child learning to communicate uh, for the first time. Uh, for the first seven years of her life, she was allowed to do what she wanted, when she wanted. There was very little control in her, of her in her own house. Since she can't communicate in any way, Annie Sullivan is hired, she's from Boston, to go to Alabama to try and teach Helen to communicate by using sign language. So a lot of what we do in the show with the hand gestures, that's all sign language. I'm spelling it all to her. The whole time the family, us, me in particular, um, are really doubtful that this is even a feasible task because how do you teach someone who doesn't know what language is language? I think she teaches the Keller family more than, more than um, Helen, really, because she teaches us um, how to treat her, that she is a human, she's not her disability, she's more than just not being able to see or hear. I do get to work with um, Mia Campbell, who plays uh, Helen a lot, and I think challenges with that are sort of um, making my scenes that I have with her appear realistic to life and how it actually was, but also displaying it in a way that the audience understands what's happening and what's going on, because a lot has to be has to go unsaid given that she, Helen cannot speak or hear. It's refreshing because I haven't really had like a more serious role in the plays. Um, definitely more stern, more strict, louder. So it's, it's different for me, but I like it. It's a good change. I think the most challenging part is not being able to like see things. So like trying to move around yet like not make it obvious that I can actually see. Being all in as Helen is difficult. I've never worked with, a, uh, with characters who are blind or deaf. That was new for me as a director, directing somebody who had to act blind. The show came on quickly in the fall, so I came into it, uh, luckily with fantastic actors who are willing to give it their all. It's really like great to be able to try to like be Helen, especially because she's a real person. Like normally in plays I've been in, at least, their people haven't been real, they've just been fiction. So it's really fun to actually tell an actual story, something that actually did happen. Being able to play Annie Sullivan and being able to take on such a strong role, and I feel that this is a story that most people should know. It's very powerful, it's very inspiring. You have to portray like the people in a certain way. Um, and I honestly don't know anything about Captain Keller, so I could be portraying him incorrectly. Um, but I think that you still need to interpret the, the writing in your own way, but it, it does have added pressure because this is someone's actual life and this did happen. Everyone knows Helen Keller and I think there's sort of the knowledge of who she is and what she stood for, but very few people, unless they've seen the movie, probably have a good idea of what life was like for her. So it's, it's kind of interesting to have to play to the truth of who she was, but also just find any sort of way to bring that story to the audience. Mr. Hill's been great with um, scheduling and like working with us to make sure that we've really been getting everything done on time, so that's good. There have been more challenges. Uh, we don't have our set until the last week because of other, other um, events on stage, so that's um, getting in the way of some of the scenes where we need to utilize the set. Costumes have come, costumes came today, a lot of material came today for the first time, so this was uh, our smoothest rehearsal. We didn't have to stop to get things we needed. Today was a fantastic rehearsal. I'm feeling, there's always anxiety, but I'm feeling much better about the show today than I'd had been in the past. I'm, I'm anxious, I'm, I wanna get going, I'm excited. I think it's been a great experience. It's definitely a different type of play um, because it's a real story and also the, the female lead doesn't have any lines, which I think is really interesting. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll be a great show, so I really recommend people come and see it. Come see it. It's a really great show. Um, there are some very touching moments, some very funny moments um, that I wasn't even expecting until I actually read through the script and I was pleasantly surprised, and I think you will be too. So um, just come see The Miracle Worker. You'll laugh, you'll cry. It's, it's just a great show, so you should come. Uh, they are Friday and Saturday, a uh, night show and then a matinee, which I think means during the day. I'm still not really sure what that means. Um, but yeah, no, it's good. I'm excited for it. These actors have put a lot of time and energy into these characters, and it's, it's definitely apparent on stage. They've poured their hearts into it. Um, coming to support that 
um, and to be impressed, to be surprised by what these actors can do is the, big, the best reason to come. Come see the show. You all enjoy it. And thank you. Thank <laughs> you.